I'm Patrick, and if you want to know me better, click on this video in the description. Hello, everyone. I received a comment on uh, my shielding video. Uh, it was a comment on asking me to try a software package. Uh, the name of the software package is GatorCam. This is actually a program that would probably be used by 99% of the people that use CNC routers. It is a program that is easy to understand. Instead of having to create your design in Fusion 360, AutoCAD, Onshape, Autodesk Inventor, SolidWorks, whatever, uh, most people are just wanting to create lettering or 2.5D type of machining on their CNC router. And there are many of the titles in CAM go, I think they have maybe too much control over what the machine can do. I use CAMBAM. I love CAMBAM. I think it's the right software if you need a really great deal of control. But this GatorCam program gives a user interface and a depth that really isn't necessary for most of the routing that's out there. He doesn't even know I'm making this video and I'm not going to be making any money on it. He offered me a, a free key, but I would probably buy it because it's only $11.95. Do not press the like button. I don't care about the like button. I don't want this channel to be about likes. But if you think my videos are something you'd like to keep watching, I do bare metal microcontroller videos, which means just my, the microcontroller itself, no passives or anything, and I show how building circuits from that and programming. I also do CNC electronics and router videos as well. And it also, he has a video on his channel. I don't know, he doesn't show how to do it, but it shows V-cut lettering, and that is, you can get a, you can get a plug-in for CAMBAM to do that, but also there's another program called Vetric or Aspire that I think is in the thousands of dollars that does the V-cut lettering. But I'm going to start recommending GatorCam unless the CNC user needs more control. But the fact that you can use Inkscape, which is free, the import is SVG, which is scalar ve uh, Scaled Vector Graphics, I think it's called, or Scalar Vector Graphics, which is just the same thing as a CAD um, vector. You know, you have points and vectors. That's all it is. It's not bitmapped. It's, it is actually just a set of primitives connected by dots. Uh, I don't know if he has um, arcs and circles and stuff like that worked into it, but it looks like it, it's, it does. Um, but I can't be completely certain about that. But I think it's actually worth giving it a try. Um, when you're working on creating machining operations, usually you have to deal with a large number of parameters. And these parameters can get, um, can get confusing on how to use it. And it really is a, creates a big barrier for entry on, for most um, people getting into CNC routing. This one, it seems to, seems to take care of that. Um, another program that I have started using, uh, actually for a little while now, I stopped using Autodesk Inventor. It has a monthly fee. They only care about subscriptions. Um, but just like GatorCam, he actually cares about his software and he wants you to own the software once you purchase it. It's not something that's subscription. It's not something where you have to put your um, models in the cloud and you now have released the models to somebody else. You put it on a computer. The software is lightweight enough that you can use it on pr pretty much any Windows machine. But the, the 3D parametric software that I use now is Alibre. And they also only care about you buying it, you owning it, they do have updates, but that's only if you want to purchase the update. That's the way software used to work is it wasn't subscription based. It was like you buy it, you own the software, you own it in that state, which is obvious and it's understandable. And, uh, and you pay if you want the extra features of a new update. The Alibre is already on my website and I don't make any money off of these sales. I just have links going to their website. So check that out. This is what I'm talking about with um, making my uh, website more of a resource. I do have affiliate links in there, but I also have just, I'm just 
putting links in there because it, it's useful for you guys. I'm going to do the same thing with GatorCam. I haven't tested it, so understand that. I'm sure he's going to be responsive if you uh, give him a shout, at, which is the same thing with uh, Alibre. Actually, a little bit of a story on Alibre, and I have this in my website, is um, I went to one of their uh, videos because they make a lot of videos on their, on their software. I asked them, are you able to create uh, assemblies and, and like instructions, page by page instructions for putting a multiple assembly machine or whatever together uh, as like maybe a plan, um, a set of instructions or a process routing sheet or something like that. And the next video was that. He said that he would, um, he would make the video and he made the video. Um, how's that for transparency and communication? Uh, and the Alibre software has everything that I was using in uh, an inventor. I'm able to create assemblies. Um, I have each part of the assembly. I can work on those individually. It's all parametric. You can have parts relating to other parts of the assemblies and they relate parametrically. The way that the parameters communicate between the models and the assemblies and the components is very, uh, it's very easy to create. In Inventor, you create these parameters in uh, their own individual component files, and they can have a link between the other ones, but it's, for me, I never really could get my head wrapped around it fully. I use it all the time, but it broke all the time. It's probably a skill issue. Also, the Rain uh, Harvester uh, uses another visual visualization program, which is free, that shows what the resulting G-code will look like once it is fully cut out. So take a look at it and let me know your thoughts in the comments because I learned from your comments as well and I also respond to all the comments. You can take a look at my previous videos and find that out. So thank you for watching.